Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to test if the DSCP server that we configured in uh, previously is working, okay? So we configured uh, our DIN Active Directory server to be our DNA, to our be, be our DSCP server, okay? And we created a scope which is actually called um, DTH users. That particular scope has several uh, settings such as this one, okay? So we are going to test that on our Windows client machine. Currently, the Windows client machine is actually having a static IP addressing. So when you go here, uh, okay, change properties. Okay, we are still under an, an uh, employee account. Let's change to admin account so that we can have admin privileges, uh, switch users. Uh, go to other account, test admin, uh, test admin, okay, so admin, I admin, actually admin test as, 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 admin, as admin privileges, so we'll be able to carry out those tests, so we go here, and uh, network and settings, okay, here, properties, IPv4, yeah, you see, it's still having, actually, a static IP address. So we want this particular server, which is our active directory server, to provide this client IP addresses. Being that this server is in the same domain as the computer, okay? So, Let's just do that. Click at uh, obtain IP address automatically. Yeah, also the next automatically and click OK and click close and click close. All right. So I think actually it has uh, accepted. Yep, it has accepted. So if you go here, if you go to properties to properties. Yeah, see, it's a, it's actually a dynamic IP address location. Then go to PowerShell. IP config all. Nice. So you see, our DNS server is the Active Directory server, and the IP address that has been listed, you see, is dot eleven. Very interesting. If you go to our um. The DCP server configuration under address pools here under address pool we see that from dot one to dot ten was excluded meaning from dot eleven you can list but when you go to under list uh, let me refresh let me yeah you see one one of the PDS has been leased to this client here okay and the computer name actually and uh, the computer name is gtech.com very interesting. It's the same as this computer here. Um, co computer here. Gtech Comp is this computer. Gtech Comp, right? So we have leased one IP to one and one our uh, one one client, which basically means that our DCP server on the Active Directory is working as expected. Right, thank you so much, and I believe you've learned a lot in regards to uh, testing DCP server on a Windows server environment and a client environment. Okay, All right, thank you so much, and let's see you again in the next video. Bye.